And so that will get that will get me talking a little bit about managing active sprints. So I'm going to switch over to the work view, and it's showing me sprint two. This is my active sprint, and I'm seeing work that is in the various swim lanes that we've talked about, um, and some of it we've said is done. And you know, I'll actually no, I'm not going to change those tickets in the interest of time. But I could change that. I could move tickets around. Um, and as the sprint progresses to reflect the, you know, the, the, the status of work. As I get to the end of my sprint, and we've updated information about the sprint as we need to based on what we've accomplished in our sprint, we can complete the sprint. This is telling me that I cannot complete the sprint because there are incomplete subtasks on the following issues. So ticket 5196 has a subtask on it. Let's go look at it. It has a subtask of 5724, and this hasn't been completed. So again, we're seeing scrum practices enforced in Greenhopper. So I mean, let me. We um, are seeing that the um, for a task or a user story that the work that's necessary to accomplish that task or user story was defined via subtasks and that we really can't consider that work to truly be done if there are still open subtasks there. So before we close our sprint, we'd have to um, either assess that that subtask is done, or we'd have to go back and say, you know what, 5196, you're not really done. And I'm going to pull you out. Sorry. I'm reopening you. Let's try to complete my sprint now. Okay. So now it tells me that in our sprint, one issue was done, and 14 incomplete issues will be returned to the top of the backlog. The things that, that the team does not complete in a sprint, Greenhopper automatically moves back to the backlog. Um, or if you've got a planned sprint, um, it will move them into your planned sprint. So if you had done pre-planning of a sprint, um, you'll, you'll need to um, sort of reassess that pre-planning once the sprint is complete. And that kind of makes sense. That's what we should be doing. We should be confirming that work that wasn't completed is the top priority or is, is what should be focused on in the next sprint and how do we adjust what we otherwise would have been working on accordingly. And if I click complete, I will get a sprint report. This sprint is now done, and it gives me the information. And it would be there would be more detailed information, you know, had we really played the sprint out, and and uh, you know we might be able to see original time. We might be able to see estimates um, compared to logged work if we were logging work or things like that. And then if I switch back to plan view, you now see my next sprint got bigger. We had five issues in it before, now we have 19, um, and we need to adjust our sprint accordingly. <laughs> 